Have you ever wondered why roller coasters make that sound when they're going up their lift hills only on chain lifts? Well, guess what? In this video, I'm going to tell you as we break down how a roller coaster chain lift hill works here on Theme Park Wizard. So you've gone to your favorite theme parks and you've ridden on your favorite roller coasters and you most likely noticed that when they go up the lift hills they make a loud loud noise. Have you ever wondered why that was? I have and I always wanted to make a video on this. For the past few months I've actually been wanting to make a video on this but other stuff has happened so I'm so glad I finally to explain how a chain lift hill works on roller coasters. Roller coasters have multiple type of systems, right? The old traditional system is the chain lift hill, and then there's the newer type of launch systems on modern coasters that go like very, very fast. They get launched up. Like the Incredit Coaster has a launch system, but Big Thunder Mountain has a chain lift hill. All chain, lil chain hills have different sounds. Some are very loud, some are very quiet. For example, Thunder Mountain's is loud and sounds just like this. So now, let's get into the nitty gritty of why chain lift hills sound the way they sound. Here's a nifty little diagram I have here to help you. So, as you can see, the thing labeled one is the roller coaster car going up the chain lift. Now, there's multiple con components to the chain lift hill. There's um, the roller coaster track, which is marked in yellow, with the rails and the supports. You see, the support is the big brown, or the big yellow rectangle, and the smaller looking yellow is the the rails. You have the wheels and everything. Now, the red is the anti-rollback device. The anti-rollback device is installed on every chain lift hill roller coaster to make sure the roller coaster does not fall backwards at any point. Let's say something happens, the lift you know, malfunctions or breaks. This is to make sure the coaster doesn't fall backwards. The coasters don't just have this. For example, Splash Mountain has this as well. Those little flaps you see on the lift that you see on the lift hills on the Splash Mountain and those little noise they make, that is Splash Mountain's anti rollback system. It's not on a lift hill, it's a log flume that's on a conveyor belt, but it still has those anti rollback devices. So if the lift, if the ride has to make an emergency in e stop, like an emergency stop, or the conveyor belt stops, as most of you probably have ridden Splash Mountain, you probably stopped once or twice for a breakdown or just maybe because you know to give space between the boats you have stopped and that your log has not fallen down the lift hill because of the anti rollback device now you may be asking how did the coat how does the coaster lock onto the anti rollback device or the chain lift hill well as you can see those two blue rectangles on the bottom of the coast car are serve each purpose the fur the one on the the front closer to the front wheel the number one that is the device that holds on to the chain so it locks onto the chain that brings the coaster car up it also acts as an anti-roll rollback device so it doesn't again, fall backwards it, it, it links to those red fins now the one on the back is an extra anti-rollback device to make sure um, the coast car again, coast car does not fall backwards, and with each fin or each device, each of the blue devices linking to a fin, it keeps the car in place should there be an emergency evacuation or a malfunction in the chain lift, and in general, just to keep the car moving upwards and not going backwards. Now, in real life, on real coaster cars, those blue fins, I'll just call them fins, are really just really really tough metal it's a really massive metal piece that's stuck to the bottom of the coaster car you can see if you ever get, get next time you get on a roller coaster whether it could be 
at Disney or Universal or Six Flags, no matter how extreme or family friendly the coaster is, as long as it's a chain lift, you'll see these, whether it's on Goofy Sky School, Gadget's Go Coaster, the Incredit, or not the Incredit Coaster, but, um, Tatsu, no, no matter how extreme or not extreme the coaster is, you'll see these, and if you look at the front car, the back car, it's easy, easiest to see, kind of take a peek under the last car in the train, and you'll see a big, big metal fin looking structure, device, and that is to keep you guys safe and make sure the coaster car never falls back. Um, so, and that's a good question because I always hear, sometimes hear people or small children say, oh my gosh, are we going to go backwards and say we get stuck on, on the lift hill? And no, you, you these are anti-rollback devices are here for you not to get stuck when you go up the lift hill. So, yeah, that's pretty much the basic definition of how a chain lift roller coaster works. Now, there's obviously different types of systems to propel coasters up, like launches and stuff and other things, uh, cable lift hills. I can go into all those in separate videos. If you like these, if you guys like these type of videos, I can certainly go ahead and do more. But yeah, again, this is just nice how to a little basic knowledge video of how chain lift works because I've always wanted to know that as well. If you guys like this video, press that thumbs up button. If you want me to do more of these types of videos and explain more of how a coaster or different type of ride systems work, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely do that for you. And because, again, I've always found it very interesting why coasters make that sound. Uh, and it's a very simple reason. So yeah, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do more videos like this. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.